I've spent over 100 hours on LinkedIn Sales Navigator, and I'm gonna show you the exact strategies I've used to book over a thousand calls with it in the last three years. Sales Navigator is the most powerful B2B outbound prospecting tool on the market but most people don't know how to use it to its full capabilities. But if you do master it, it is an absolute gold mine for finding qualified leads and booking calls. I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to use every single important filter, show you how to laser in on your ICP using advanced keyword searches, and some hidden technique that you can copy and apply to your niche to generate the most qualified leads for your business in 2025. And stick around to the end, where I'll also show you how to extract your entire Sales Navigator list and send them personalized messages and voice notes without lifting a finger. Let's get stuck into it. So there's two groups of filters on LinkedIn, lead filters for individual accounts and then account filters for company accounts. We're gonna talk about both and then how you can combine them to build the best list. Starting with the lead filters, I have all of these different filters so I can hone in on my ICP. I'm gonna show you every single one. Today, I wanna to reach out to US-based real estate company owners so we're just gonna work through these filters one by one. Within the lead filters, we have these sub filter groups. We're gonna start with the company filters and go from there. If you wanna target different people at the same company, you can use the current company filter and just select the company you want. I wanna reach out to people at lots of different companies today, so I'm gonna leave this blank. The company headcount is really important. This is where you can determine the size of the company. I want small businesses, so I'm just gonna select one to 10, but you can select multiple here. Bear in mind, if the company is smaller, you can more easily reach the decision maker, and if the company is bigger, you're more likely to have to go through department heads first. The past company can be really valuable because you can use this to find companies you previously worked with. They probably already trust you, so the outreach is a lot warmer. Moving on to the role filters, these just determine the individual's current position. I can filter by function, which just means department, current job title, and seniority level. These are crucial again to ensure you're targeting the relevant decision maker. In this case, I want to target real estate agents, so they're actively involved in the day-to-day, -day, but I also want them to be the owner of their company, so I can go with these two. The years in current company and current position can be really useful indicators. For example, if someone's just joined the company, they may be more receptive to implementing new technologies because they want to make an immediate impact on the company. The geography is also super important. This is just where the lead is based. You can filter by region, state, city, or if you want to get even more targeted, you can actually use the postcode radius filter. This is very handy if you reach out to local businesses or if you have a limited area that you can operate in, such as home service providers. Of course, then I can also add in my industry. Let's go with real estate. And I can also exclude industries if I want, such as investors. If you reach out based on continent instead of country, the language could be useful, such as English speaking Europeans. These aren't gonna to be too useful right now, so we're just gonna skip those. These buyer intent filters can be super useful for finding warm leads. Anyone that is following your company probably already has a degree of interest, and same goes for those who have viewed your profile. These are gonna decrease the list size a lot, but they are a great place to start. Now, the impact this next filter has is absolutely huge. You can leverage your first level connections to reach out to people you're already connected to, but the real opportunity is in the second level connections. This means you have mutual connections and they're gonna see that when you go to connect with them. We found that this actually increases your connection acceptance rate by over 20%. If you've worked at big companies before, you can leverage past colleagues who again are a lot warmer. You can leverage your shared experience in your outreach message to then break the ice. In our recent update filters, we have a couple of beauties in here. If they've changed jobs in the last 90 days, but have been at the same company, that typically indicates a promotion. Now again, this can be leveraged in your outreach. Something as simple as congrats on the promotion can go a long way to actually starting the conversation. Now, I almost always toggle has posted on LinkedIn. This actually means in the last 30 days. First, it shows they're active, but also one of the easiest ways to slide in the DMs is referencing recent post content. That could be a compliment, question, or alternative viewpoint. These are all really, really effective ways of initiating the conversation. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. The workflow filters are gonna allow us to use SalesNav as efficiently as possible, so we spend the least time prospecting and the most time on strategic thinking. To avoid having to repeat my role filters each time, I can create a persona. In the top right-hand side, I just click personas, create a new persona, and then add my role filters, give it a name, and just hit save. 
Now I can apply that same persona every time I create a new list to save me having to do it every single time. The account lists are an absolute superpower we're gonna talk about a little bit later on. For now, when you build lists, you can save the accounts to a lead list and then either include or exclude that list in future. A good use case for this would be if you have a list of people that you've already reached out to in the past, maybe the timing wasn't quite right then, but you may wanna then reach out to them in future. I can also include or exclude anyone's profile I've visited or message leads already to make sure I'm not targeting the same contacts twice. So now I have a great basis for my list, but there's a few little tricks I can use to make it even more focused. Keywords. We can use keywords to identify specific words and phrases on a profile to either include or exclude. There's three types of Boolean searches on LinkedIn, and, or, and not but it's not as complicated as it sounds. Let me explain. If I want someone to have multiple keywords at once, I can just use and searches. For example, if I want them to be the CEO and the owner and be in real estate, I can just type in CEO and owner and real estate. If I don't need them to be all of those at once, and I just wanna capture say commercial and residential real estate folk, I could type in commercial or real estate and it's gonna return people with either one of those. The most powerful of these keyword types is not filters. I can use these to exclude keywords. In this case, let's say I want real estate brokers, but not real estate investors. I could type not investor. You can also stack these and add multiple exclusions. One of the best hidden tactics on SalesNav to build a razor sharp list is to go through the list and then use keyword exclusions to remove unqualified leads. Let's say Sean here is an investor. I can then add investor as a keyword to remove Sean and everyone else with investor in their profile. I can repeat this process until my list is laser focused. To do really complex searches, you can combine these terms using parentheses. For example, to find people who have VP in their profiles but exclude assistants to the VP or SVPs, you could type VP not and then in brackets assistant or SVP. So that is literally everything I know and everything you need to know about the lead filters. Let's get stuck into the account filters. So this is where I can view companies. You might be thinking, well, that's pretty useless given that I can't actually reach out to companies. Well, what we can do is we can take this list of companies and then apply it to the lead filters to get the decision makers from these companies. We'll get into exactly how to do that in a second. For now, we have all these great filters that we didn't have on the lead side. We can filter by annual revenue and headcount growth to see how much their team has grown by. I can even add the number of followers, which is gonna give me a pretty good idea of how important LinkedIn is to them. Department headcount growth is a fantastic indicator. For example, if their sales team has grown a lot recently, they're gonna be a lot more receptive to a technology that helps them track the performance of their reps. Technology is another great one. For example, if I run an ads agency, it would be useful for me to know if they have Google ads in their tech stack. Same goes for if I'm a Webflow website agency, it would be useful to know if they're using WordPress, for example. I can also select hiring on LinkedIn. Again, this shows they're growing, particularly useful for recruiters, growth partners, and really almost anyone else. So then how do I actually get the individuals of these companies so I can reach out to them? You just select the relevant companies over here and select add to an account list. You can only add 25 at a time, but it'll take you a few minutes to have a list of a few hundred companies. Then I'll go back to my lead filters and include my new account list. Then I can determine who I want to reach out to from that list. For example, if I just want the C-suite of those companies, I can just add CXO and that's gonna apply that to all of those companies from my account list. Okay, so now I have a list of over 3000 decision makers in my ICP, but sending them connection requests and manually reaching out to every single one of them is gonna take a long, long time. That's time that could be spent on content, strategy, building relationships, or really anything else that actually moves the needle instead of scrolling through profiles, sending connection requests, making it impossible to track success and constantly forgetting to send follow-ups. But I do need to reach out to these people to make sales and grow my business. So how do I do that whilst also focusing on all those other really important things? Well, that's where PROSP comes in. It's the best LinkedIn automation tool on the market right now. And essentially it allows you to put your entire outreach completely on autopilot. All you have to do is take the URL from your sales nav search, copy it into PROSP, and then hit extract and import. This is gonna take every single lead from that list and then this is where it gets really wild. 
Once I've imported my contacts, I can build a fully automated outreach sequence. I can send them a connection request, wait for them to reply, and then send them a personalized message. I can even use AI to complement their most recent post, and this is a fantastic way to start the conversation. I can even send them personalized voice notes using the AI voice cloner, and this is what's actually gonna allow me to turn these contacts in Sales Navigator into conversations and then ultimately into booked calls on your calendar. This is gonna work through that entire list completely for you. All you need to do is watch the replies come flooding into your inbox. And if you wanna watch the full tutorial on Prosp, just click in the top right now, or grab your 14 day free trial using the link in the description below. And I look forward to seeing you in there.